Lady Diana Spencer became the Princess of Wales in a ceremony watched by the world at the end of July. Buckingham Palace today said she's expecting the baby will be second in line to the British throne. More from Rebecca Sobel in London. Just two hours after the announcement, the Princess of Wales attended a luncheon. The prince's delight at his wife's pregnancy was expressed with his usual understatement when he described his reaction to the crowds cheering their wedding. And I remember standing in my window with it wide open, just trying to remember what it was like so that perhaps I'd be able to tell my children, which I hope I will be able to now. That wedding captivated the world, but it wasn't just a fairy tale. It was another chapter in the serious business of royal succession. When Charles was born in 1948, it was a sign that the royal line was safe and that the House of Windsor would continue. Today, the monarchy is more symbolic than practical, but British society still is organized around it. And the British people, in spite of their current problems, or maybe because of them, would rather talk about the forthcoming birth than almost anything else. I should thought they had a pretty busy honeymoon. Well, it's perfectly normal. Absolutely marvelous. I couldn't be happier, and I'm sure we all are. The royal child, be it prince or princess, will be the second in line to the throne after Prince Charles himself. And as for the Princess of Wales, the royal doctors say she's in excellent health. Rebecca Sobel, NBC News, London.